When faced with starting an IV, most student nurses and even professional nurses dread the thought. However, venipuncture is an essential part of patient care and all nurses must master the skill. You may already know the basics of how to insert a peripheral IV catheter, but many times you will have a patient with difficult veins, making the task even more challenging. Our goal is to reduce the number of venipuncture attempts on a patient and have one successful IV start. Assess the veins with a properly applied tourniquet. A tourniquet that is too loose or too tight does not allow the veins to dilate. Lower the patient's arm below heart level and have them open and close their fist. Alternatively, for a patient with really poor access, a blood pressure cuff can be inflated to a low setting, a few points higher than their diastolic, instead of using a tourniquet. Tip number two, warm the IV site area to promote vasodilation. Applying instant warm packs or a warm blanket for five to 10 minutes will help bring the veins to the surface. Tip number three, if you find the patient has flat dehydrated veins, hydrate the patient if possible by having them drink three cups of water before the IV start. Tip number four, Disinfect the insertion site using an alcohol wipe by stroking in the direction of venous flow towards the heart to improve vein filling. Rubbing the area vigorously causes the veins to become much more visible and prepares other possible nearby veins which may be suitable. Remember to let the alcohol dry to prevent painful stinging for the patient. Tip number five, for the patient that is obese or has generalized edema, an ACE wrap can be used to wrap their forearm then elevate the arm for about 15 minutes while the swelling temporarily decreases. When inserting the IV, leave a small portion of the cannula out so the tissue has enough room to expand when the edema returns. Tip number six, use a vein finder visualization device if available for a patient with poor venous access. However, remember to palpate the vein also as those that are deeper and larger are usually a better site than superficial veins that are thin and smaller. And lastly, tip number seven, Prevent vein rolling by holding traction on the vein and skin just below the venipuncture site, using the thumb of your non-dominant hand.